questions we are asking, however, is uh, is this likely to go forth in the manner that it was conceived uh, and hoped? That's number one. Secondly, what could it do to the stock market? Are they in a in a healthy uh, uh, in, in, in the healthy enough position to absorb all of this, or could there be problems? And thirdly, what will this do overall to these companies which are being disinvested, and what does this mean for the overall disinvestment strategy? I, I can see that the markets are taking a pause at the moment. Mm. Expectations were very high before the Brexit, mm. um, but we still have to get some big policy, big, you know, big bang reforms coming through. Mm. So in the next three to six months, I think we'll start to see that. Mm. And that's where the, the, right. the divestment will, will happen. You know, in, in this kind of rising tide, all boats have kind of you know, moved up in, 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 in one go. And I think now we'll start to see us differentiate between the good companies and the, and, and the bad companies, or the ones with you know, better growth. Right. So I think those companies will be able to do that too, I think. Well, then what's the, tell us, take us through broadly what the, the tax environment is from an investor who wants to come in at this point. What has, how have things changed for long-term investors? At this point. What it will do is also bring better compliance. And if there's a better compliance, there will be money more in the market. More savings, more savings will come in the market. And I think that's why, uh, be it a, a PSU divestment or individual companies going for IPO, the market is good. I think the market will, will give them that one year breathing space. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, we'll start to see GDP start to accelerate. Uh, and then if, if corporate profits start to increase, then you know, the, the tax revenues will start to increase as well. So it's all about growth. You've got to get your growth going. Yeah. But the more important thing is, can, can they bring in foreign direct investment as well? Mm. And that would be the key. If you can bring that in, I, I become less worried about the overall economy and growing because that's, that's really what India needs now.